Hello, my name is Deborah Rubin, and I'll be talking today about the work that our team is doing to integrate data and analysis on the cross-cutting themes of gender equality, youth engagement, nutrition, and resilience with the Innovation Lab for Crop Improvement, or ILSI. Let me take a moment to introduce you to our team. The core members consist of a multidisciplinary group of researchers from agricultural science and the social sciences. Together, we have a strong record of field research that documents the needs of small farmers, processors, traders, and consumers. We have all helped to translate that knowledge and experience into the approaches of agricultural research. We've also conducted many workshops with researchers and practitioners on integrating cross-cutting themes into many aspects of agricultural development. Our extended team consists of scientists working with each center of innovation who have different disciplinary trainings and national backgrounds currently based across eight countries. The cross-cutting themes work that we do draws on the work of others as well as our own, some of which is displayed here. I'm taking time to point out this historical record because I'm so often faced with people who think that attention to cross-cutting themes is simply a new fad in agricultural science, when it actually represents quite a large body of work over a long period of time. And those studies are founded on rigorous data collection, both qualitative and quantitative, conducted in major agricultural research programs implemented around the world. In our work at ILSI, we are building on work carried out by field researchers before us who sought to ensure that farmers and other rural residents, both men and women, were active participants in the research process. Although too many to name here, we recognize researchers who sought to systematically identify preferences of smallholder farmers and to incorporate that information into breeding efforts. Other pioneering researchers deserve credit for explicitly recognizing the importance of women's work in agriculture, not only for women's contributions to family food security and income, but also as actors in seed selection, pest and disease control, and managing soil fertility, three characteristics that link to breeders' efforts in developing new varieties. It is against the backdrop of this large body of scientific research that ILSI designed its approach to integrating cross-cutting themes. Diversity and social inclusion are foundational principles on which the cross-cutting themes rest. As Steve Kresovich, the ILSI director, has said, the difference between crop breeding and crop improvement lies in part in the latter's incorporation of agricultural life and social sciences to achieve the goal of generating germplasm that increases benefits to those who are most marginalized. From inception, the ILSI project has supported the work of its researchers to address the four cross-cutting themes of gender equality, youth engagement, nutrition, and resilience. Significant research has been done on each of these themes in agriculture. Less work has been devoted to specifically to these themes in breeding and crop improvement. So a major thrust of our work was first to expand research on each theme independently. However, an innovative emphasis will be to address the interaction among the themes as shown in this slide by the light gray arrows. In partnership with our priority setting team, we are working to develop and adapt methods that take account of those interactions to explain and address them while also accepting the, that priorities will vary by crop and country context, among other variables. For example, let's consider one relationship between gender equality and nutrition. New biofortified varieties may be developed and intended for home consumption to improve food security and household nutrition. In Rwanda, high iron bean varieties also turned out to be higher yielding and have become a lucrative cash crop. As a result, women's activities in bean production, processing, and trading are changing. Some have joined cooperatives that have helped them to maintain decision-making control over seed selection and sales. Considering potential interactions and trade-offs early in the product development process and initiating household dialogues and producer cooperatives can increase adoption while ensuring that the, we achieve the goal of do no harm. 
We are also thinking about good practices to get young men and women more involved in crop research, for example, supporting them as students and hiring them as researchers and technicians. Research programs can deliberately seek out young agri-entrepreneurs as input suppliers or seed distributors of, for example, new drought-resistant varieties, illustrating thus a link between youth and resilience. Our goal is to carry out new research that deliberately positions attention to these themes and considers the needs of end users in our research programs. If we are to be successful, then by the end of the project, we will not only have succeeded in fostering solid research on each theme, but also to have strengthened our understanding of how each theme interacts with each other and the breeding process. The draft theory of change shown here illustrates how we plan to address the cross-cutting themes in our four primary areas of work, research, capacity development, coordination and engagement, and monitoring, evaluation, and learning. We have ongoing and planned activities to incorporate all of the cross-cutting themes, some of which are shown in the slide in the yellow boxes. We are confident that this work will lead to important outputs and ultimately help to change how crop improvement research is conducted. Thus, the expected outcomes shown in the blue boxes all reflect transformation in the way that ILSI researchers in the areas of inquiry and in the centers of innovation will incorporate cross-cutting themes research in identifying crop improvement products, using cross-cutting themes, knowledge, skills, and tools to identify and adapt inclusive strategies in their work and monitoring their progress. As we enter the end of the second year of the program, the cross-cutting themes research is finally taking off. A very exciting new investigation will delve into the relationships among the interdisciplinary and international agricultural research teams that are the basis of ILSI research and seek to understand the way these teams interact, how they make decisions, whose voice is heard, and how. Although similar research on power dynamics has been done in corporate settings, it is neither well documented nor researched in agricultural research. We anticipate that gaining a rigorous analysis from this research will enable us to model more collaborative, interdisciplinary, and equitable team arrangements. The findings of the power dynamics research will link up to research on successful strategies for cross-cutting themes integration. Also still in its early stages, this work will include a capacity assessment and an analysis of both institutional and individual capacity. The Centers of Innovation teams are doing research on these themes that has focused on collecting and analyzing data on trait preferences among different value chain actors. Each of the COIs is currently working on this topic using both quantitative and qualitative methods to collect data from different stakeholders. The next step of collating and structuring such data to be utilized in the breeding process is less well articulated. We are therefore exploring the G plus tools that have been developed by CGIAR researchers from the Gender and Breeding Initiative and the work of researchers on the RTB Foods Project to identify consumer preferences around sensory characteristics of different varieties. Another upcoming activity may include attention to gender and youth in seed delivery systems. That is still under development, but we hope it can be approved and started in year three of the project. Designing and putting in place the capacity development activities shown here has been a major emphasis over the first two years. The team initially offered guidance to the COI applicants to encourage their thinking about these issues in the design of their work programs. We continue to provide targeted support to researchers when requested. This year, we started a series of webinars on individual cross-cutting theme topics, both methodological and conceptual, that are open to all ILC researchers and staff. Another activity has been the creation of online sensitization trainings for each cross-cutting theme. Each covers the four sessions shown, emphasizing their relevance to crop improvement. These will be hosted on the LC website and publicly available. We are hopeful that we can offer two different in-person 
short courses over the next two years. One builds on the excellent work of colleagues from the Gender Responsive Researchers Equipped for Agricultural Transformation, or GREAT, project and its curriculum on gender and crop breeding. The second program builds on work done by the Integrating Gender and Nutrition Within Agricultural Extension Systems project that was led by the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. It will introduce a method for assessing agricultural technologies for their attention to our cross-cutting themes. So this slide should really show a large Zoom gallery, as all of our meetings on coordinating and engaging with other ILSI researchers have been virtual since February 2020. The process of consultation and support derives directly from the LC vision that national breeding programs are the drivers of their own research programs. The cross-cutting themes team is committed to avoiding top-down directives and seeks, instead, in, and seeks instead to support and coordinate the engagement, helping to identify where cross-cutting themes can be addressed and ensuring their inclusion in the research activities, as well as supporting inclusivity and diversity in institutional and project policies and practices. We hold regularly scheduled and ad hoc meetings with COI teams, often jointly with the priority setting teams. The agendas are typically set by the COIs and provide updates on research progress and review of questions on methods and approaches. I have already mentioned the team strategy and the theory of change. And some of the core team's work is with ILSI management in planning, coordination, and reporting. Our last area of activity is monitoring, evaluation, and learning. We work with our ILSI partner, RTI, to provide feedback and input into RTI's MEL design to capture cross-cutting theme activities. Thus far, this has involved helping to frame the relevant indicators to review each COI's theory of change and to identify opportunities to strengthen implementation of cross-cutting themes when appropriate. As I said at the start, we continue to learn from others. The CGIAR's Gender in Breeding Initiative has offered guidance in developing gender responsive breeding programs. We have done pretty well in applying that guidance, the four bullet points at the top of the slide. The COI teams are interdisciplinary and each one is carrying out research on trait preferences disaggregated by sex and age and by customers along the value chain. And the work of the priority setting team is now developing or adapting methods to address trade-offs with awareness of inclusivity. ILSI is also expanding its guidance and practices to address not only gender, but all four cross-cutting themes and their mutually conditioning relationships, as shown in the figure. The key is in institutionalizing these four components in each COI and in the broader world of crop improvement. They include testing new tools and new research approaches, making adequate investments to support this time and labor-intensive collaborative interdisciplinary work, changing attitudes and practices, and monitoring progress. We have made a good start and we look forward to reporting back in a few years on our accomplishments. Thank you for your attention. I hope that the resources shown on this slide will be a helpful guide to some of the work that we are drawing on and to our own work. Thank you very much.